Hello everybody, I am over here in Lubbock, Texas today and I am working on doing the uh, physical due diligence on a 100 unit complex that some partners and I have under contract. We've already performed the financial due diligence and quite frankly, surprisingly enough, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, discrepancies on the financials. So we felt comfortable getting a plane ticket and coming over here and hiring a third party company to camera the drains and walk the roofs and, and log all the AC unit inception dates and walk about 15% of the units with us while we along with our property management company walk every single door uh, so that's what we're here for today is to uh, do the physical side and you know I'm pretty impressed with this complex this complex is actually as advertised not very often on this vintage uh, you know this 1975 product uh, not very often on this vintage is it really in the condition that the seller says that it's going to be in and you know to be completely honest with you I've been pleasantly surprised with the condition of this complex everything the seller said that he had been doing he had done and this is a very very unique situation um, you know for those of you that are not in the industry we we don't really love flat roofs because they're so difficult to find the leaks and they're very expensive to fix. At some point in the life of this building, actually it was two years ago, the seller decided that he was going to take and put the, um, this was a flat roof building, and the seller decided that he was going to take and put the, um, the arched roofs on and, uh, and put brand new roofs on them and put the, uh, put the slanted roofs on. Uh, and you can tell my terminology, I'm a real good construction guy. No, that's not my background. But here's what I do know is those roofs are like brand new. The inspector said they looked like they were put on yesterday. That's how nice of a job they did. Not even any maintenance issues. Pro tip, even when it's brand new, you want an inspector to look at it to make sure nothing got overlooked. It's not uncommon for things to get overlooked when putting on a roof or doing major renovations. And he said, you know what? This place is actually, uh, the work on the roof was actually done very, very well. This is the laundry area over here. And uh, I gotta tell you, very, very pleased with the outcome of the inspection on this one. We are very, very excited about this. And uh, for those of you that have been talking to about this, keep your ears peeled. We'll be talking again soon. And uh, yeah, we are. We're ready to go full steam ahead. We satisfied ourselves, as I said, on the financials. Now that we actually see the condition of this building, this is what's considered a momentum play. For those of you that don't know what that is, often, oftentimes we, you hear a reposition, the word, we're gonna reposition the property. That means you're gonna completely renovate every single unit, although we do have some renovations in line for this. This is a cash flowing asset day one cash flowing asset day one also known as a momentum play or could be referred to as a micro repositioning so very excited about the team very excited about the uh, the on current on staff property manager and um, maintenance man really really good team and really really happy to see them on stay on board with us which is part of the plan and uh, they're loving us they're loving uh, the management company that we have secured, and we are excited. Stay tuned.